Okay, so a couple of months ago we put together a video <clears throat> that demonstrates how to use the, the new Yamaha Disclavier Inspire and how to control everything with the app. But one thing we didn't show you was how to actually set up your Yamaha Inspire once it's at your home. So that's what this quick video uh, should walk you through, okay? First thing you need uh, is an Apple TV, okay? And what you're gonna do for your first step is you need to plug your internet via your ethernet cable into the back of your Apple TV, like so. Okay, that's step one. Step two is you need to plug uh, an HDMI cord into the back of your Apple TV. I'm gonna plug this in here. And that HDMI cable will then go into your big screen, okay? Uh, now for your big screen TV, you have to take the audio outputs of the big screen TV and plug those into the underneath of the disc of beer, uh, where they have RCA audio inputs. Okay, let me show you what RCA cables look like, just in case you don't know. This TV happens to have RCA for its outputs, so it makes it easy. We just have an R two RCA output cables, or cables, excuse me, going to the input uh, of the uh, disc here. Now your TV, perhaps they don't have RCA audio outputs, so you may have to get a different type of cable. Either way, the end that goes into the disc here will be these type of cables, and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so there you see the RCA inputs that you'll plug into on the underneath of the piano. You look for that big box. It's got MIDI options and everything else, uh, LAN options, as you can see, other USB options. But all you have to do with this box is plug the RCA cables in, and those are, again, those are coming from the outputs of the audio on your big screen TV. All right, so the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take this little device. It's a USB wireless LAN adapter. The model number is a UDWL01. This comes with your disc over here, okay? This is the little magic piece that helps the disc over here communicate wirelessly with everything else, okay? So the USB wireless LAN adapter gets plugged directly into the USB port on the back of the front unit. Okay, so once you've plugged in the USB wireless LAN adapter to the rear of the uh, box here on the front of your disc here, you power up your disc here. there's a little power button right here, and it takes about, I don't know, 20 to 30 seconds for it to power on. At that point, you come to the LAN adapter itself here, and you see this light here, this little blue button? Um, it's not going to be lit up on yours because you're going to be setting this up for the first time. So what you do is you hold that down, press that button down for about five to seven seconds. At that time, you should see it flash about once every second. And that tells you that it's ready to be hooked up to your router. Okay, so now that you've um, held down that button on the uh, USB wireless LAN adapter, it's flashing blue at about this pace, like I'm doing with my hand. That's when you go and you run to your router and you have about two minutes to press the WPS button on your router, okay? The WPS button may look different depending on the type of mode of a router that you have. So you may want to look into that. But anyway, you press that button and you come back and you take a look at your disc here, give it maybe a minute or two, and then when you look back at that button, it should be pretty much a solid blue. If you have solid blue on that button, you're good to go to the next step. So the next step is to come to your iPad Okay, and on your iPad, uh, you have to go to your settings and go to the Wi-Fi and make sure that the Wi-Fi is connected to the same router that you're connecting your disc of your piano to. Okay, in our instance, they're both hooked up to the same router, so I'm good there. I'm going to go ahead and open and close my settings. And now it's time to turn on mirroring to my big screen TV. So, 
I'm going to slide up from here at the bottom of the iPad. Let's try that again. There we go. Okay. And see where it says AirPlay mirroring? You select AirPlay mirroring. You select Apple TV. And then it says, hey, mirroring's on. And now if I look up into my big screen TV, my iPad is mirrored to the TV. All right. So I'm good to go there. The next thing to do is to open up the Inspire controller app, which you get that simply by downloading it from the App Store. It's free of charge. And of course, this, again, this works on iPad, iPhone, as well, as well as tablets and Android devices as well. But I open up the app, and here you can see the app's open on my big screen TV. And if we've done it correctly, you're going to see your disc over here. It'll say disc over Inspire, and it'll have the serial number that's associated with your piano. And to open the app, you simply select your piano. And now that the app is open, here's where you access the built-in songs, Disc Levere TV, Disc Levere Radio, the music store where you can browse and download more music. All of these things uh, I covered, how you work that and how you use that in the video we published previously, which we'll put a link uh, at the bottom of this video so you can access that as well. But if you follow all these steps correctly, everything should be up and running smoothly.